Just locking up for the night, Professor Jennings. You might want to leave soon. That's all right, Charlie. I think I'll spend the night here. Okay, sir. Have a lovely night. Uh, actually, Charlie, could you just come check something for me? I don't have a light. Sure thing, sir. Sir, I don't see anything. Uh, sir? Sir, what are you doing? I forgot to mention, Charlie, your services are no longer required. God, I actually landed where I wanted to for once. Well, let's just open up the engines, and... Grand, well, since the rift in Cardiff hasn't been active in a few years, this'll take a while. You know what, dear? I'm gonna go walk it. See the sights, take in the atmosphere, enjoy the... weather. Well, rats. Well, I guess I'll just speed reach Shakespeare. And while the blizzard has put a slight dampener, on tonight's proceedings, my experiment will go ahead as planned. My inspiration and personal hero, Richard Lazarus, never let anything get in the way of his work, nor shall I. So tonight, at precisely 9pm, here at Lazarus Scientific Institute, I shall succeed where Professor Lazarus failed. I shall gain eternal youth. And here I was planning a peaceful night in. Well, if this isn't the definition of deja vu... I would like to ask everyone to take their seats. Thank you. I shall not bore you with poetry. I won't pretend that I am a great public speaker or a god among men. I shall simply warn you. The machine is bright. As is the man who created it. Oh, good lord. Enjoy the spectacle. Ladies and gentlemen, my machine was a success! at all. What the hell is this place? This place is restricted. You have no right to be here. Ah yes! Jennings, wasn't it? I think you'll find I have every right to be here. An inspection? Unit? I thought Unit had already approved the project. I sent them the plans personally. Ah, well, yes. That's where I get a little fuzzy. See, your plans make very little to no sense at all, and based off the scan I just took, these pipes and machines do nothing other than create coloured smoke and make rather a lot of noise. I wouldn't expect someone like you to understand my machine. What are you doing? Scanning you. No! You broke my sonic screwdriver. Security! Why? I mean, my sonic screwdriver. Have this man thrown out of my building at once! Right, let's see what you managed to pick up before the nasty man with the ridiculous cheekbones broke you in half. DNA abnormality, facial structure made up of very generic material, foreign to the rest of the subject's body. You mean, 
his head isn't his head. That is correct. That's a bit... Mary Shelley, what else? His brain matter contains a foreign biological object, alien to that of his DNA makeup and genetic design, searching database for match, expected time of completion, three years, seven months. Oh, come on! Announced just a few minutes ago that following the success of his Eternal Youth program, biological scientist Professor Thomas Jennings would be releasing the technology on a limited basis to the public. That'll be interesting, considering it doesn't work. You've been great at choosing channels lately, dear. Who needs the radio times? Unfortunately, Professor Jennings could not be reached for comment at this time. He hasn't been seen in public since his launch conference for the Eternal Youth Machine. The cause of his press absence is not yet known. Come in. You wanted to see me, sir? Ah, uh, yes. Alex, just a few questions I have regarding your role here, if that's okay. I don't see why not, sir. Good. Before you were hired here, you were in the Marines, right? So I can assume you have peak physical fitness. I like to think so, sir. But you left the army because of a knee injury, is that correct? Uh, yes, sir. A piece of shrapnel tore it up. Damn. Well, I can't use that part, then. Uh, sir? So what's going on? Oh, nothing. I just need more parts. I'm falling apart again, see? And my head is a little too big for this old body. Sir, stop! Oh, oh God! Jennings, what did you do? Scientifically, I'm assimilating his flesh and muscle in order to use it for my own survival. Colloquially, I'm effectively skinning him and tearing him apart for my own enjoyment. Take your pick. Honestly, I prefer he was alive and well. That's utterly barbaric. That's debatable. I'm sure that unit has killed more than a few in its quest of self-preservation. What the hell are you? At first, I was willing to accept you a human. A disturbed, completely psychotic human, but human nonetheless, but now seeing your technology, I just don't know. Oh, I am human. Just a little... extra. Extra? Oh, your brain read differently on my scan. Completely alien matter, you're being controlled by a parasite. Close. I'm not being controlled. Myself and... and my pet have an understanding. Knowledge. Mental capacity beyond belief. Pain relief. For the very simple price of feeding it. Feeding it? Please explain how you feed a creature attached to your brain. Well, feeding is quite a loose term. <laughs> See, because of the strain from having to sustain two living creatures, my flesh and organs tend to start deteriorating pretty quickly. So I need new flesh and new organs in order to sustain us. Wait. It's full. You're a lucky man, Doctor. So, the machine, it was publicity? Effectively, yes. Opening it publicly for a limited capacity would allow for some more uninterrupted feeding before things get complicated. <laughs> What? Uh, what is happening? You managed to assimilate the energy my body was about to use to heal me. Not enough damage to warrant a regeneration, but enough to require assistance in healing a wound. That energy was rushing to my wound before you took it away and it's burning you up. No! Uh, I have knowledge. I invented... Uh, no! Uh, this is your fault. I'll kill you. Uh, I'm waiting. Talk. Talk. Help me. You're beyond help, Jennings. Help me. Please. In the end, your parasite didn't matter. You were sick in the head anyway. Talk. Talk. Reality is crumbling. for this break.
breaking story. The Lazarus Scientific Institute is currently ablaze. Fire crews have so far recovered three bodies, two mutilated beyond recognition, and only one being identifiable. This man is Professor Thomas Jennings.